Hello and welcome back to Sound Like on Anderson's TV. To foul. To foul. <laughs> yes, today we are sounding like the classic punk rock band, or I think alter more alternative band. They started off as a punk band, but definitely yeah. ended up alternative. Clash, the Clash. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to be Joe Strummer and Mick Jones. <laughs> as you do. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that because like Joe Strummer is a Telecaster tried and true guy, and then Mick Jones, I've seen him with. But he's basically Gibsons. You now there's the White Les Paul Custom, there's Les Paul Junior double cuts, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. But f sound wise, I mean, the Clash didn't have a discernible that's the guitar sound of the Clash. You know, Joe Strummer, I get the impression it was just like he plugged in an amp and turned it up, and that was what he did. It's going to be difficult, but it's just kind of a raw guitar tone. And I intend to do as much down picking as possible. <laughs> so, uh, down pick, down pick, down pick, down pick, down pick, down pick. So, yeah, so that's my job. What is yours? My job is to be punk slash reggae extraordinaire, Paul Simonon. So, in a way, I've kind of got two jobs, but not quite in the same way as you. Yeah. Um, Paul, just P bass and Peg SVT classic. Yeah. That's the sound. But he's kind of got two sounds. One is the more dubby reggae sound, and the other is that really gritty SVT kind of driven sound. Mm. So it's going to be fun trying to get both of those sounds in one rig. Mm. I remember like uh, Paul saying like he always wanted to be the guitarist, and then they're like, "No, you play bass. You play bass." So he played bass, and he said, "If I play bass, I'm going to play bass like a guitar." Yeah. Which he did do, and he looks cool. He does. Do you want to do guitars first, or do you want to do bass first? Uh, Amps. Totally up to you. Pedals. What do you prefer? I just need a phaser. I mean, I kind of don't want to use a distortion pedal because they're not really that, again, they're, they're not really that kind of band. They just plugged into things and turned them up. The Veilton phase. So there's a phaser. There's a phaser in the Behringer as well. Oh, no, it's a phaser. That's a really good one as well. I think I'm going to try something different. Now. I'm going to veer away from Town City today. I'm going to try the Veilton, which is the pedal that does everything and we'll see if that's any good if, if basically we end up in the video room with summer orange <laughs> the veilton didn't quite cut it in the punk scene you see so i'm gonna go for the veilton which i have no idea how much that is but i can guarantee it's very very cheap okay now i need to think about amps and guitars which i'm i'm tempted to get telecaster yeah um be like because i always wanted to be joe when i joe strummer was like the first rock star i saw who was like i want to be like him i remember like going around my living room with a tennis racket playing along to clash songs because i was he looked so cool in this video where he's got like a black shirt and red collar i, I thought, know the oh, one i look so cool insert clip now yes <laughs> but that will never happen because that happened and uh I'm just not as cool as he you is. You are as cool. Sh at least Everyone I've got better teeth. Just shut up. Do you want to do basses while we're at the bass room? Uh, can do, yeah. Yeah, do you want to do basses while we're yeah. here then? So, bass wise, looking for a cheap P bass. Um, 449. And that is well within budget. Plus, it's very. I know. It's very punk. <laughs> Classic punk colour, that gold. Yes. But it is very poor. So that's base sorted, hopefully. Unless I see one that I think will do a better job, but I kind of... I, I, I know I the exact imagine. base. <laughs> How oh, could I forget? Nikki Six. <laughs> uh, Everyone this is... knows that Nikki Six inspired Paul Simonon. <laughs> um, Amp-wise, Paul obviously used Ampeg SVT Classics. And there is an Ampeg SVT Mini, which I am very drawn to. It's very cute. Yeah, the Ampeg Micro VR. It is cute. So the head is 285 and the cab is 285 as well. So hopefully that's in budget, but I need to do some maths quickly. It's a price tag. <laughs> that's so annoying. It's 19, oh, wow, it's 19 pounds over. What's the Talmans? Cause I mean, that's a P and a jazz. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's in budget. It's annoying cause Paul uses a P base. Well, let's go and talk to the staff. <laughs> Okay, so I quit. CC finds a bass, I'm always saying another nickname. Uh, I'm going to find a guitar. So I want Telecaster, really, but. Ooh, 369. That is, that is possible. The, the only thing that bothers me is we are doing Guns of Brixton and there's a tremolo thing on that, which I might be able to simulate by violently shaking the guitar. <laughs> so we'll see how that comes out. But because I'm a Joe Strummer fan, 
Sorry, Mick. Um, I want a Telecaster. So there's this classic vibe. He did have some of the standard 70s tellies. Um, so I don't necessarily, I don't feel pressure to say it has to be a double bound Telecaster. It can just be anything. Um, invariably, they're always black and there isn't a black one. So, sorry, Joe. I think I'm gonna go for classic vibe. Uh, they're both 359. So what does that leave me with? So, da -da -da -da, math time. Magic. That's 489 pounds. So I've got good 500 quid to get an amp, so that should be easy. Could get a Katana. I think I'm gonna go, I might go Katana, maybe Katana 100, but I don't, what are they? Yeah, because they're 349. Yeah, I might go Katana, then I need a phaser, because I've got the phaser in there, but then I need to turn it off and on. Oh my God. No, I'm gonna stick with the phaser pedal. Classic vibe, Katana. Veilton phase, uh, Veilton thing, chorus, choral thing, that mod, mod, I suppose that's quite fitting, uh, the word mod band, but, but yeah, I'm going to go for that, that's my setup, I will make this work, I will do Joe Strummer proud, hopefully. I do think the Talman will do the job though, I really I, do. I think it would as well, it's more because it, a P bass is a P bass and it's called cool to be able to use one. The Talman I think will do the job, but I think I'm going to grab both the P bass and the Talman, and if the Talman doesn't quite cut it, I'll go slightly over budget. It's only £19 over budget. <gasps> only! Santan there! <laughs> Sacrilege! Yeah. Yes. Even though I did it in the Ramstein video. But no, uh, no, not Ramstein video. Oh, uh, the it tall was video. Tall. Because I went mental and I get a flying V. Yeah. True. But, yeah. but there was nothing else for you to use. True. But yeah, so we'll do that, see how the Talman gets on. I think it will do the job, but on the off chance it doesn't, 19 quid over. It's not bad. Okay, so is that you sorted then? Yep. S no, no SVT pedals. Mini, Talman, if not Talman P. Mm -hmm. So I'm going for a Classic Vibe Tele, Phaser and Katana. Is that it? Yep. Wow, that was cool. Okay, so Done. to the video room, let's clash along. Oh wait, wait, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. So we are back in the video room in our efforts and strife to sound like the one and only The Clash. So, uh, we'll start with guitar this time. So, um, I've gone for a Telecaster because I always wanted to be Joe Strummer when I was younger because he is the coolest, one of the coolest guys ever. So I went Telecaster. I didn't have enough time to spray paint it black, unfortunately, but, you know, there's always next week. Anyway, uh, this is the Squire Classic Vibe 50s Butterscotch Telecaster, and it's rather special. The neck on it's absolutely amazing. It's really nice. Um, it's very, very orange. Look at that, how orange is I mean, the question <laughs> is, how more orange can it be? Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's the guitar. Amp I went for was the Boss Katana, tried and true, beautiful thing. Uh, I'm just using it on the lead mode. I'll talk about EQ in a sec. And the only pedal I got, uh, I was going to originally use the Veilton uh, pedal. Like it's a multi-effects pedal thing. But I couldn't get, the, the phaser wasn't the right kind of phaser. It needed to be like a phase 90, phase 100. And it just wasn't that. So eventually I went for the Tone City Summer Orange, which uh, did did the job, did not exactly what I needed to do. Uh, and basically I've got that set with the feedback and the depth at 12 o'clock and the rate is at three o'clock. Uh, so amp wise, I've got it on the lead mode. I've got the gain at nine o'clock. Volume is all the way up. 
Bass is at nine o'clock. Uh, no mids, no treble, no effects, no uh, a little bit of reverb. I got the reverb at nine o'clock. Presence is at twelve o'clock, uh, and master volume is at nine o'clock. So it just does. Jo and, and again, the hard part about the, the Clash was a distinctive guitar tone. Like there isn't really a that's the Clash tone uh, with the guitar. So I was trying to like approximate London calling Tommy Gunn, Guns of Brixton, <laughs> uh, Joe Strummer, and Mick Jones into a Telecaster, a Katana, and a Phaser. So it was really difficult, but it, I thought what I kind of need to go for is that kind of really raw, kind of punky, kind of Telecaster grit. And I thought I'd lean towards more towards Joe because I like Joe. Yeah. Nothing gets me. Do you but, like Joe by any chance? No, I don't. But Joe Strummer was wicked. I'm sorry, he just was. Anyway, but it sounded really cool. It's it just sounds like somebody's plugged into an amp and turned it all the way <laughs> up, and it's just... still got all the clarity but it's really raw and aggressive yeah. and nasty and then the phaser was for stuff like Rudy Can't Fail and, it, and, and the phaser was really the only effect really that was used I mean it did have a delay and things like that but the phaser just sounds great <laughs> sounds great it's just good fun and everyone needs a phaser in their life So all in all, mine came to £753, which nice. I'm very, very happy about. <laughs> and again, I think for an approximation, again, because the Clash don't like, it's not like Slash, like where it's like, that's his sound. The Slash. The Slash. <laughs> the only, the one and only, The Slash. But it's not like him or like, you know, somebody somebody else who've got like that distinctive, that's them, and you can pick them out of a mix. The, the Clash don't really have that. They're, they're just... Uh, very, it's just that raw and ready thing, and, and again, I don't, I don't think Joe Strummer put too much time into kind of go sculpting a guitar tone. I think he was more plug it in, turn it up, and just go be Joe Strummer because I like Joe Strummer. I wish I was him, but I'm not. <laughs> you'll, you'll come in on the next video dressed as him. Uh, if, if I could pull off dressing like Joe Strummer, I would, <laughs> but there's no way I'm that cool. Anyway, that's the guitar stuff. Over to you, Queen. Okay, so. Paul was a really, really tough one because he has like multiple bass sounds and I've tried to kind of amalgamate it and make it as easy as possible to switch between them as I can. Uh, I went with the Talman over the P-Bass, one, because it was in budget, uh, two, because it does do the P-Bass sound. So obviously I've got the uh, jazz pickup off, which kind of confused me because this is the jazz pickup and this is the P-Pickup. So it's like flipped, so uh, don't let that fox you like it did with me. But that's off. Uh, tone is all the way on, um, but I'll go more into detail about what I've done with that afterwards. So for the gritty sound, tone is all the way on, just the P pickup. Um, I ended up having to get as well a blues man kind of distortion because this amp, although it does the overdriven like breathing mm. ampeg sound it was extremely loud so needs there was, to be cranked, yeah it? it needs to be cranked in order to actually get that gritty kind of sound that paul simonon has so just to kind of like keep that slightly under control i've used the blues man instead to give it that kind of gritty overdriven feel um i've got the obviously went for the ampeg so i've got the gain at uh one o'clock bass at 12 mids at about nine o'clock uh treble all the way off and bob's your uncle that's basically his overdriven sound so filth yep mm. so <laughs> <laughs> so that's his uh, gonna keep doing more, that <laughs> yeah 
That's his more gritty sound. And then in order to do stuff like uh, Rudy Can't Fail and the more kind of dub sound, I turned the tone kind of semi off, um, turned the gain down quite a bit. I think I had it about 12 o'clock. Uh, bass stayed where it was, mids came off mm -hmm. um, and turned the pedal off, obviously. And that gave it more kind of dubby sound. Yeah. Which ho it was really difficult to kind of amalgamate that in a an easy way to kind of change it quickly instead of just like totally reshaping the whole tone. <laughs> I've got to remember what they were now. So both of these were 285 and 285 for both the head and the cab. I don't know if Anderton's might do a deal on both of them. I'm not sure. You'd have to check the website. I'm going to do a five finger discount on that though. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Just Blues Man is 39.99 and the Talman is 229. So all together that came to... Ooh, price check. Eight hundred and thirty-eight yep. pounds. So not not too bad. Awesome. Yeah. Well, got that Ampeg. To me, the star of this entire thing is that Ampeg. Yep. I, I want love one. that thing. I, yeah, I, I want. I'm running my guitar through that. I'm gonna try that. But <laughs> I say I really did like this. It was it was cool trying to be Joe Strummer for a minute because I like Joe Strummer. Dave likes Joe Strummer. You, did in you In case know? you don't know, because I might not have said it enough. Anyway, yeah. So you're happy with that, Queen? I am. Yeah, because it was it was actually more difficult than initially thought this one mm. it, was, it was quite deceptive i thought oh you're just gonna go for this and i was like ah it doesn't work so it's like oh i guess go for something else but um yeah it worked i think yeah. i reckon it just yeah. it did the job and again it's just all about that kind of raw everything's on 10 Every, just turn everything up and just play there's no real kind of like i've got to sculpt my tone just, just, <laughs> it was just a case of like, i'm gonna plug in and i'm gonna play i'm gonna write really good songs and this is yeah. what i'm gonna do there wasn't really much kind of like thought in that kind of thing of like you know it's got to be this frequency here it's like they'll just turn it up and play like a big word <laughs> but yeah so uh mega so cool yeah i'm happy with that okay so thank you very much indeed for watching another episode of sounds like on anderson's tv or sound like i got told off for calling it sounds like God. But it technically is sounds like because it's it sounds like sound like would be one, but, but sound then, like would be two, English lesson. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. But um, <laughs> so yeah, so I, I, got, I got told off. But either way, anyway, um, thank you very much. Like and subscribe. All stuff down there. Links to all this stuff is down there as well. Please look, check. check, check. And also, if you're subscribed to Vando's channel, you could win one of those things over there. The Clon Center. The stuff that dreams are made of in general inside is just like solid gold is it yes you would hope so well yeah you would for the price they are <laughs> it's got more it's, it's more money on that shelf than i've got in my head of a hat and i've life. ever had yeah <laughs> anyway. who's inside a clon who's that nikki six oh, <laughs> it's nikki six again you can never have enough of the sixter anyway <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. See you later. Goodbye now. <laughs>